The following is one of three entropy conservation equations I've discovered correlating the physical constants, based on a theory of relative momentum I've been working on for a few years. The first number, which I call lowercase b, was calculated by Tony Padilla of the University of Nottingham as the number of particles in the universe. Found to be 3.28 E80 based on the total density of the universe, the fraction of baryons, the volume of the universe, the mass of one baryon, and the ratio from baryons to electrons. There's a great number file video on this linked below. The second and third constants are of course easily recognized as the gravitational constant and the speed of light. The relative entropy function requires some explaining. The relative entropy or coolback liebler divergence of a to b is simply shorthand for a times log a over b, a function used to, as Wikipedia puts it, measure how one probability distribution p is different from a second reference probability distribution q. In this equation, I propose that it describes the quantum probability information flow between different levels of momentum between universal curvature, local curvature, and light. There's a flow from the complexity of universal curvature, that being b, to the complexity of local curvature, that being g, and it's balanced by the flow from light, being c, to local curvature, g, again. This equation, then, is describing a conservation of information relationship that balances the flow between global and local quantum complexity curvature with the presentation of light across that local curvature. Thus, this quantum curvature of space would act as a field determining the quantum action of light. This type of an as-above, so-below principle would indicate that local quantum collapses are not random, but determined by these local probability fields which are reflective of universal quantum complexity. Astrology, basically. This is not a brand new idea, and metaphysically-minded physicists have been proposing such a non-local mechanic for a long time. For example, Wolfgang Smith's concept of vertical causation. If you'd like to support my continued work on this new perspective on physics and my thoughts on its metaphysical implications, please support me on my Patreon. I'd really like to be able to prioritize this work more.